Hello friends, I'm Rory, and I welcome you all to a new adventure, building our own amusement park. We will build everything using a game called Roller Coaster Tycoon. In this game, we need to create the best amusement park in the world and ensure we attract enough visitors who can enjoy their time in the park. First, let's start with a roller coaster. I love roller coasters. They are my favorites. But wait, do you know anything about them? The first one in the world was built almost 150 years ago. When the train goes down, you might hear some people shouting, Yay! Or, Yay! Because they are having so much fun. Some people might even laugh or scream a little. But it's just because they're excited. It's all part of the fun, and everyone is just having a good time. Now, let's move on to Ferris Wheel. It's a giant wheel with seats that go around in a circle. It slowly goes up and up, so you can see the entire park from above and even further away. This is also how birds see the ground when they are up in the air. Impressive, right? We can make it look the way we want. Let's make it purple. Perfect. The person who created this giant wheel was called Theris. So the name Theris Wheel comes from the inventor. I also hope that one day, I'll have my own ride in an amusement park called Rory Ride. The next thing is a merry-go-round. It's a fun ride that goes around and around in circles. It's like a carousel with lots of colorful animals that you can sit on. You need to try it. It's like riding a horse or a unicorn. And you go up and down, round and round. It's so fun. <laughs> After going on the merry-go-round, you might feel like your head is spinning a little. Shall we make it green, purple, or red? I like red. Mmm, ice, ice cream. Who's in for a treat? Let's build an ice cream shop. I like mine in a waffle cone, mix of vanilla and chocolate, and sprinkles all over it. We'll probably see people coming in as soon as we place the ice cream shop in our park. So, here we have it. Ready for a yummy treat. Do you know what's another thing people like to try in amusement parks? A ride up to the observation deck. We should also build one in our park. An observation deck is like a platform high up in the air, from where you can see the beautiful view of our amusement park and the surrounding area. Look how high up we can build it. We can't open without creating an entrance to allow visitors to come in. The entrance should be here, and then a few pathways for visitors to walk on. And that's it! You see? They are already coming in! People might want a quick snack, so let's set up a french fry stall. They're easy to get on the go, and they provide the energy you need to continue having fun and playing at the park. I also want to add a scrambled eggs ride. And no, I'm not talking about the food. It's another ride. Do you see it? It spins around and around while you sit inside of it. It's called the scrambled eggs ride because it feels like you are being mixed up like eggs in a bowl. Oh, what a crazy name, isn't it? Now, let's build one of my favorite things in the park. A giant slide! A slide is a really fun thing to play on. Maybe you already played on one when you went to a playground. The difference is that this one is like a big tube that you climb up, and then you sit down at the top and slide all the way down to the bottom. It's kind of like going down a big, twisty tunnel. Look at these kids, how much they enjoy going down the slide! next thing to build is the haunted house. Imagine walking through a dark and creepy house where ghosts might be hiding behind every corner. You might hear strange noises or see things moving. What a spooky adventure! It's really exciting and fun to see what surprises are waiting for you inside. Are you brave enough to go in and find out? Don't worry, it's all pretend. People know that, but it's still exciting to see what's inside. In a haunted house, some people scream, some people laugh, and some people act brave. It's all part of the fun. To make sure people are always having fun and find ways to entertain themselves, we should also hire an entertainer. An entertainer usually wears a special costume or outfit, like these guys. They perform fun shows that people can watch and enjoy. For example, they can dance, they can sing. Sometimes they might even play games or engage in special activities with visitors, such as face painting or making balloon animals. Basically, they are there to ensure that everyone who comes to the amusement park has a really great time. Yes! Do you love cars? If so, we're going to build a car ride in our park. We'll create a track that can be as long as we want, with ups and downs and twists and turns. 
The car ride isn't as fast as a roller coaster, but it's still super fun. You get to ride in a special car that will take you on a little journey around the park. The cars are usually painted in many different colors, so you'll be able to spot them easily. We could also choose the colors we want for the track. As always, we need to build entrances to the car ride. We'll need some footpaths for people to walk on and a ticket office where they can buy their tickets. And that's it! We're ready to receive visitors. Great job, right? Now, let's consider what we can do next. What should we choose? Sometimes, instead of cars, there are trains that take you on a ride without even leaving the park. It's a perfect thing to do when you're a bit tired and your feet hurt a little. Ouch. So, we can build a tiny railroad here for people to enjoy a little trip. We have a lot of space in this park, so we can make the railroad track as long as we want. Let's also make it go a little high and then back down. I love trains! We need to make sure we don't build over other park attractions. Oops! You see, I made a mistake here. You need to choose the right path and finish where you started. Otherwise, it won't work. Let's also create some footpaths for access, and then we'll be good to go. Nice, right? Thank you for watching! I hope you had fun building all these amazing attractions for our amusement park. If you want to join me in the journey of discovering cool things through games, subscribe to my channel, and I'll meet you next time. Bye!